redemption. Took a lot of L's on the road to redemption. Ain't no exception. I need some clarity. Not begging for prosperity. I need some clarity. Open my eyes, Lord. Open my eyes, Lord. I'm sick and tired of being tired. Tired of being sick. In my head 24 7, how I'm supposed to pay the rent. Friday nights we on the bench Tryna come up with a play If it don't work then hit a lick Twist knocking at my door Pain ain't tell I'ma study in her word prayer Baby ain't fail Got away with way too much uh, Should've got a spell But the school saw my potential Smart kid trying to rebel Yeah yeah Even in them darkest times I be feeling bold Secrets deep inside Looking for answers Let me know Pain in my eyes Vision blurry Peace in my mind Welcome to Eagle Vision for Monday, October 28, 2024. I'm Layla, and today's top story highlights drama department as they prepare for the fall production this week. We are down here in the theater for um, to show you a little bit of the set that's being built for Night of the Living Dead. Now, Night of the Living Dead is going to be premiering on Wednesday. It'll also be on Thursday and Saturday. It's going to be at 7 o'clock, although doors open at 6.30 because the show is going to actually start at 7. Don't be late. And the cost is $5. There is a lot of work that Mr. Algie has put into building all of these sets for Night of the Living Dead. Now let's start off, tell us just a little bit about the show itself. So the show itself is really the show that jump starts the whole zombie apocalypse genre. Uh, it's kind of the original uh, zombie apocalypse movie from uh, like the mid 60s. Um, luckily for us it was in the public domain uh, so we're able to do it for free uh, and it's also just a real cool show about how people interact in an emergency situation when they don't know what's going on or they don't know like who the enemy is um, and how different personalities clash uh, and so that's always interesting to examine especially um, in the world we live today um, with natural disasters and all that stuff but the basic premise of the show is a group of strangers um, end up together kind of barricaded in an old farmhouse in the middle of nowhere during the zombie apocalypse uh, and so it's them trying to figure out what they need to do trying to overcome opposing personalities and who's right who's wrong what we should do all all of that uh while you have these man-eating freaks outside trying to break in so uh it's a real fun show uh the students have enjoyed doing it we have a lot of makeup uh that we're going to be doing uh blood and bruise and scar effects um and it's just a really fun show now, I, don't, I know you don't want to give too much of the show away, but uh, is this one of those shows where they're just constantly worried about something that never happens, or are there going to be some actual zombies and stuff, characters in the show? Oh, yes. We have, I think the last time I counted, we have two, 10 zombies, uh, dedicated zombies. Then we're also going to have possibly some faculty cameos which is going to be interesting to see who shows up and uh, uh, who walks in as the living dead, so to speak. So, uh, yeah, we have a lot of zombies. Uh, some of the zombies are freshly turned. Some are straight out of the grave dirty. Uh, so we're going to have a bit of a v v variety of zombies. <clears throat> So, uh, yeah, definitely. And you said that y'all had spent quite a bit on makeup and stuff for this show. Like, this is going to be a well-produced show when it comes to all of that stuff. Yeah, I uh, spent quite a bit on makeup, uh, the bruises, the blood, the liquid latex. Uh, so, so we're going to try to go out with uh, the makeup this year. We actually had Northwest uh, Theater Department. They came in and did a workshop with us uh, a couple of weeks ago uh, to kind of show us how to do, like, the bites and the... Uh, uh, and the bruise and blood effects, uh, how we make someone who's alive, a living actor, look like they've been dead for weeks, you know, like that uh, uh, kind of stuff. So it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be interesting to see. I can't wait. Now, uh, Mr. Algie, if y'all didn't know, he is known for his ability to throw together 
massive sets on a budget so why don't you let's let's walk up here um, you can see he's got wood he's got his chop saw here he's been working with and uh, we do have some interesting setups with this particular set uh, you said it's farmhouse and you can see he's he's torn apart pallets to build this um, really rustic looking farmhouse but you've got something interesting back here you've actually built a set that can turn in multiple ways so why don't you explain I'm gonna give you the mic and let you explain to the students oh, sure um, so for anyone who's taken my class you may remember when we talked about the periactors the three-sided flats the three-sided walls that rotate well here they are uh, and I just so happened to make them giant <laughs> they go all the way up to the roof uh, so each side of this triangle this uh, Oh, prism. Uh, prism? Prism, yeah. Prism? yeah. Uh, each side of this prism, this three-sided flat, is a different location. So it's on wheels. So as we rotate, uh, we can rotate it from one scene to the next. And now we're in a whole new scene. So you don't have to roll stuff on and off um, you don't have to worry about really long scene transitions you just have a couple of people on each one uh, to rotate it and bam you're in a new scene so it's real easy and it saves a lot of space both on stage and off stage that is uh an awesome concept uh old billboards on interstates you would see would flip that way they would have a Tri uh, a triangle design and they would flip and change the billboard uh, remotely before obviously we got LED which is now everything's a television on the interstate. What are some of the other components of this set? So uh, right now we have uh, I'm currently building the stair unit this is our rehearsal stair unit that we have just so they can get use of uh, using the multiple levels. Uh, the stair unit that we're going to have uh, for the show is actually going to be the same height as these because they need to go up a level but they also have to go inside of it uh, so my stair unit is serving a dual purpose it's both the upstairs but we also have a door in the front that leads to the basement so it's also the upstairs and downstairs so what we do for the scene transitions from uh, the living room to the basement is uh, we have the periactors will rotate to the, to the basement walls and then the stair unit is, as they go in the door the lights will go out the, the periactors will rotate when the lights come up they're walking down the stairs uh, so it serves a dual purpose so I can use the same unit for both locations uh, that said it's huge <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, that's the last big piece I have to work on uh, and then getting these faced with the sheet material um, but yeah that's the big thing the next thing are the walls so I needed to figure out a way how I can outline the living area of the farmhouse while still being able to see the zombies. So I decided to go for a more skeletonized look to the walls. So now we, we're in this old farmhouse. It's, it's kind of wore down, dilapidated. So we're seeing kind of the bare wood, uh, the bare panels poke through, but also, we kind of get these cool zombie effects right where we can just kind of see the zombies and what they're doing outside of the space and and how they're moving like and eventually as the show progresses we add more and more and more zombies until finally well I'm not going to give away the ending but uh, so uh, this is why we went with the skeletonized look so we'll be able to see the zombies um, from inside the house looking outside so that was the concept to this All right. well thank you so much for the tour we'll uh, obviously come back down here and get some updates as you are finishing up show is uh, less than a week so you've got uh, a whole lot to do on your plate for the next few days uh, but we're looking forward to it again that's gonna be Wednesday Thursday 
Saturday, and we want you to come out and support. It's going to be a very entertaining show, as you've seen. And uh, so get your friends. Y'all come out and support the Drama Club. Last week, we announced the Teacher of the Month, Mrs. Mitchell, for September. We sat down to get to know her a little better a few days ago. Good morning, Horn Lake. This is Monday's show, and I need all of my seniors to be ready for that ACT on tomorrow. You need to be here on time. You need to be here ready to give your best effort, and I'm excited about how well you're going to do on your scores. Once again, seniors, ACT tomorrow. Be here on time. We're going to have the boards up, the big boards up, directing you on which classroom to go. We usually gonna occupy A Hall, we're gonna occupy um E Hall and other various locations. My other kids, my other students, they're gonna make sure they know where to go as well if they're relocated. But once again, big board, as soon as you walk in, we're gonna have you headed down A Hall, headed down E Hall, and all your relocations uh, listed as well. All right, so we have a brand new segment called Ask Keegan. Now, Keegan is sort of mysterious to many of the students here at Horn Lake. She does run EDTV and produce the show. However, she's not on it very much, and she's very quiet. So people in the building don't really know who Keegan is. Had somebody come in the other day who's training in here, Josh, and he said, Keegan's a senior, and I said, Keegan is a sophomore. And he's like, shocked. Anyway, new segment, Ask Keegan. And if you have a question that you want us to ask Keegan, submit it to me. And uh, if I like the question, I'll ask Keegan here on the show. So here's your question for today. What are your top three movies of all time and why? Now, before you look at me like I'm crazy and tell me that you don't watch movies, that all you do is play games, I know you've watched movies throughout your life. What are three movies that stick out that you like and why? Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, all right. And speak up so they can hear. All right, hold on. La La Land, because it's so good. It's so good. Okay, why? Why do you like La La Land? Uh, Ryan Gosling. <laughs> Ryan Gosling. I mean, uh -oh. that's enough said. Uh, Ten Things I Hate About You. That was that was oh, so good. That's a classic movie. It's so good. Um, I don't know. Nice guys. It also has Ryan Gosling. <laughs> <laughs> I don't who else was in Nice Guys? It was, was that, that Kevin Hart? It was that big guy. Okay, so Russell Crowe. So that's the one where Russell Crowe's like a, a cop or something and uh, or a bounty hunter or something like that. Like it's been a long time since I've seen that movie. I may have to check that movie out. So it's a real I mean that made your top three, so mm -hmm. it must be it must stick out in your mind. Oh, that's good. Are there any honorable mentions, movies that, that were not, or is that pretty much it? No, that's pretty much it. I don't really watch movies like What's that. What's your favorite game? Because all the gamers out there might want to know that. Red Dead Redemption 2. Second one. The second one. I don't really one. care for the first because the quality is terrible. This week's feature vocabulary words are Adhere, aloof, and ambiguous. Adhere, stick completely to a surface or substance. Believe in and follow the practices of. Aloof, not friendly or forthcoming, cool and distant. Ambiguous, open to more than one interpretation, having a double meaning. is holding a book drive. You can drop off new or gently used books in Miss Fullerton's room D8 between now and November 22nd. Knowledge Bowl meets every Wednesday in D8 from 3 to 4 p.m. All are welcome to join. The senior ACT will be tomorrow. We ask all seniors to save the date and be sure to attend school on that day. The ACT is very important to your continual education post high school. That's it for today's episode here at Horn Lake. We are better students, always growing and expecting more. Stay tuned for your lunch meetings and athletic schedules. We'll see you here tomorrow. Have a fantastic day.
seven, how I'm supposed to pay the rent. Miss a practice, I don't play. Friday nights, we on the bench. Trying to come up with a play. If it don't work, then hit a leak. So it's knocking at my door. Pain ain't tell. I'm studying her word, perhaps. Baby, ain't sell. Got away with way too much. Uh, should've got expelled. But the school saw my potential. Smart kid trying to rebel. Yeah, yeah. Even in them darkest times, I'll be feeling bold. Secrets deep inside, looking for answers. Let me know. Pain in my eyes. Like it should be. Yeah, yeah. Chances I ain't never take, we never saw what it could be. No way, no way. So many people call me fake, cause I took a step out. Uh-huh. Hood baby took it farther than the south. Uh-huh. I'm like, tell me where to go. Even in my high signs, I be feeling low. Secrets deep inside, looking for answers, let me know. Pain in my eyes, vision blurry. Peace in my mind, don't worry. In need of direction. Tired of chasing perfection. Took a lot of L's on the road to redemption.